Hello and welcome to Shirt and Simple Online Tutorials. Today as part of the Design Center training series we're going to be talking about uploading images and how you can add your own files to your, sh uh, to your shirt design in the Design Canvas. Uh, this button right here, the Upload Image button, is how you get started. Um, basically you just click Browse. I've already created a couple of files on my computer. The first one I'm going to show you is a PNG um, format file. This is uh, one that has a transparent background so it's going to look nicer on our um, on our canvas once we get it uploaded. There's some additional information on this page about successfully uploading an image. Um, we prefer that you use the GIF, JPEG, or PNG format. Um, file sizes must be under 8 megabytes. And um, for more information, just check out uh, some of this content here. Um, when you're ready to upload, click Start Upload. And an Upload Successful screen will show up um, with a preview of the image you just uploaded. If you don't see anything here, you should probably click the Upload Different Image and try a different file. Um, you can get to the tutorial page and some more information by clicking more information here. Um, and basically what we're asking you to do in this screen is to select the ink options you want for this image. Due to the different sizes, pixelation, quality, and various types of images, we haven't asked the Design Center to automatically detect um, the number of colors and which colors are inside of an image. Instead we're leaving that up to you so that your, your instant quote is correct. Obviously these ink color choices are going to affect how our design team recreates the image for you when we create your proof and also the price of your per unit base price for your product. Um, this is an image that is black with a gold border. If you wanted, the art team could do anything with this image. We could change the, the black to blue, we could remove the gold border. Um, for instance, if we did want to remove the gold border, we could click. We could say yes, this is, we want this as a single color option, but before moving on we would say please remove the gold border. And when this information was sent to our, um, to our art team, they would th th this these notes would be attached to it and so um, they would see that and they would know to remove that so um, we're gonna actually just leave it as it is though click multicolor and multicolor gives you the the options to choose from two three or four ink colors anything else and you would choose full color but we do we only want two we want black you can scroll down and click black or we uh, to get to gold, I can just hit G on my keyboard, and it will go right to the top of the G list. So um, there's our two colors. When we click, when we're done, we click finish. And depending on your image, uh, it might show up pretty small in the canvas. That's fine. Just resize it, get it to a size that you'd like, um, and uh, and there you go. Uh, resizing an uploaded image is the same as something in that that you added through the art library. You can rotate it. Um, you can use these handles to resize it. You can use these controls in the properties panel. You can unlock it for further controls, like flipping it, um, squeezing and stretching it, that type of stuff. So uh, to delete an image, you just click it in the layers panel and click the X button. And really quickly, I wanted to show you one other thing in here. Let's go and upload the same image, but as a JPEG, which means that it's going to have a, a, it won't have a transparent background. In this case, it's got a white background. Um, and so what I would do here then is I would say, please remove the white background from this image. And then I will choose, just to show you the difference, I'm going to choose full color here. Full color basically means that uh, we will recreate it as we see it in, in, um, in respect to the notes that you've attached. So you notice that the, the instant quote went up by three dollars because that's the cost in the Iowa City location of adding a full color image to one screen. So um, obviously in, in a case like this where there's a white background on this image, um, you can leave it like this if this is your shirt color and then we'll, we'll adjust this in the proof and we'll remove the white like you asked us to. But if you've got a, a shirt a color that has white in the background, it's obviously going to look a little nicer like that. Um, there is one other way to, uh, to upload an image or a, uh, attach an image to your design. If you click the attach notes button here, um, you'll notice that the uploaded image is already showing up here, but we can also browse for another image if we wanted to, um, and then click start upload. If we just mouse down, there it is. So um, that was successful. If you do that though, we ask that you please um, attach notes uh, in this section because 
otherwise we're not going to know what to do with that uploaded image. It's just going to be a standalone image unless you specify. So when you're done there, you just click continue and you're back to your shirt design in the canvas. So that is uploading um, an image of your own in the, in the design center. Please visit our help hub if you have any additional questions or feel free to contact us. Uh, thanks for choosing Shirt and Simple and thanks for completing this tutorial.